What's good? It's your boy, Fanon. All right, man, I'm going to talk about Terrence Crawford, Danny Garcia, Al Heyman, and Bob Arum. And it seems, man, that there is a big hurdle to the success of the Terrence Crawford and Mir Khan fight, and that is the Danny Garcia versus Adrian Granados fight that is on the same night on Fox. And I can't believe that I didn't notice that those fights were going to be on at the same time. And as far as I can see, man, that is like the case of a great fighter competing against uh, what could be a great fight. So I'm going to talk about that, what I think is going to happen with that and um, what I'm going to do about that. But before I do, welcome back to the channel subscribers. If you are not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And after you hit the subscription button, hit that bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos and check out our live streams that we do Monday through Friday, start time between 1030 to 1045 a.m. Central Standard Times and Sunday OG Boxing Talk featuring Fanon and Blood Boxing new weekly special. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. It's going to be Sunday mornings, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every Sunday morning, we're going to be chopping it up with cats, with the old school boxing fans, 45 years and older. We're going to have running special guests uh, on the on the uh, on the panel. You guys are really going to enjoy it. Also, check out the Patreon uh, and the new videos we put up for the patrons. Now, let's get to this. All right, man. On April 20th, there is going to be two fights. One fight is obviously the pay-per-view for ESPN, which is Amir Khan versus Terrence Bud Crawford. And the other fight is Danny Garcia versus Adrian Granados. Now, on the face of it, man, and this is why I'm saying I think like the total card that Terrence Crawford has with Amir Khan is a very good card. It has Terrence Crawford, Amir Khan. Then you got basically you have, well, I wouldn't say it's three. It's a terribly good card, but it has three fighters or yeah, three fighters that I really want to see. Maybe four fighters that I really want to see in Terrence Crawford, Teofimo Lopez, uh, Shakur Stevenson and Amir and Amir Khan. But it's a pay-per-view fight. Now, I'm going to I'm telling you right now that I'm going to watch both fights without a doubt. I'm going to buy the pay-per-view card. And to the if it to the extent that it's possible, I'm also going to watch the Amir Khan, the the Danny Garcia, uh, Adrian Granados fight. I just think that this is the trouble for the for the Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan fight is that this thing is going to be on Fox and Fox is going to do something that ESPN really doesn't do a lot, which is promote the fight if you've looked at all of the if you look at all the promotions that have taken place for the fights or most all the promotions that have taken fox taken place on fox since pbc has been on fox they have been very fox has been very active in making sure that the viewers of fox know that those fights are coming up and they are running ad after ad after ad and so as we get closer as we get in the definitely i believe in the last two weeks leading up to this if you see a lot of promotion for Adrian Granados versus versus um, Danny Garcia. It could very well, you know, creep away at the pay per view numbers for Amir Khan versus for Terrence Crawford versus Amir Khan, primarily because the fight's free, and it's not as if either one. Well, I think Terrence Crawford's got a really good fan base I, in the United States. Amir Khan has got a good name. I just don't really know. If that is going to be enough to offset the fact that there's going to be a lot of that, there's probably going to be, man, I would think a million people might be watching Adrian, uh, Adrian Granados versus Danny Garcia. I mean, it's very possible that there could be a million people that what million Bison fans that watch that fight. If you look at the what happened with Jamal Charlo, Jamal and Jamal Charlo's uh, fight on Fox. 2.4 million people watch that fight. That if Danny Garcia and Adrian Granados come anywhere close to that, that is going to really, really, really take away from the pay-per-view buys from Amir Khan and Terrence Crawford. There's not a lot of people who are really giving Amir 
or given Amir Khan a chance to win this fight. There's some, there are some people that think that it is going to be, you know, it's going to be an interesting fight. That it's going to be some, you know, a problem that or problems that Terrence Crawford is going to have to figure out during that fight. You have Amir Khan that believes he's going to win that fight. But in the mindset of a lot of people that I've listened to, it is almost a foregone conclusion that Terrence Crawford is going to win that fight. Danny Garcia versus Adrian Granados, though, man, is going to be a fight that's more than likely is going to really keep your attention because Adrian Granados is somebody that comes to fight. Adrian Granados is going to be pushing, going to be pushing Danny Garcia, going to Danny Garcia. And, you know, it's a fight, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's a fight where it's not the two fighters aren't as good, even though I think Danny Garcia is better, obviously better than not obviously better, but. Danny Garcia is better than Amir Khan, seeing as he knocked Amir Khan out. But it's a it's a situation, man, where I don't really know what the outcome of that fight's going to be, and it's going to be an intense it's going to be an intense fight. I'm I believe that you also have the fact that you have Danny Garcia, who usually does good numbers, right? He's got a big fan. He's got a he's got a nice fan base, a nice Puerto Rican fan base that is typically loyal to Puerto Rican fighters. You also have Adrian Granados, who's a Mexican fighter, you know, fighting on free TV. That's going to be a hurdle that the, that the promotion for Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan needs to overcome. And I just have not seen them. I've not seen them do that. And that is where the, you know, the Al Heyman versus uh, Bob Arum things comes into play. And definitely the Fox versus ESPN. With this PBC deal and the Showtime deal, it is going to be very difficult for any of the other promoters to put on major fights that are not being counter-programmed by relatively popular American fighters that are with the PBC. You ha and it's going to be that's going to be a challenge, man. The unfortunate thing for this is that if this takes away. Just two hundred, just just two hundred thousand people say, you know, I know Terrence Crawford is going to beat Amir Khan. I want to see, and I don't feel like paying the fifty dollars. I've got another option that I can watch my fight on, and that's going to be, you know, that's Fox, Danny Garcia versus Adrian Granados. If two hundred thousand people do that, of the potential got people that would buy that fight, that's going to that might push Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan down into the hundred and fifty. 200,000 pay-per-view buys and that if Terrence Crawford does 150,000 200,000 pay-per-view buys against Amir Khan that is going to be I I'm tempted to say disastrous because that will absolutely put mud holes in any claim that he's you know that he has in you know getting Man, God dog, having any of the guys over there in PBC having a commercial reason to make that fight. And unfortunately in boxing, definitely these days in boxing, we know that people are often hiding behind money issues. So if you get 200,000 pay-per-view buys for Terrence Crawford, Amir Khan, you're going to have Sean Porter looking at Ter the Terrence Crawford fight sideways. You're going to have... Uh, Sean Porter looking at him sideways and look at that on top of the fact that the rumor is that you have Keith Thurman in advance talks with Manny Pacquiao and then Manny Pacquiao's choice between fighters is either Danny Garcia or Danny Garcia or Keith Thurman if he does 200,000 pay-per-view buys then you're looking at uh, with Amir Khan or less you're looking at um, looking at Terrence Crawford, excuse me, now Errol Spence Jr. for their fight being firmly the quote unquote A side in that negotiation, which means Bob Arum is going to have even less room to talk, a less room to say, OK, maybe we should partner. We can you know, we're going to air this on ESPN pay-per-view. I mean, Fox and Errol Spence will say, no, why? I'm the one that's bringing I'm the one that's bringing the numbers. And it all could be a result of getting counter-programmed by, by the PBC and Fox. So 
this is going to be interesting stuff. We'll see how it plays out. Um, I'm obviously going to watch both fights. You know, I'm going to support Terrence Crawford in the pay-per-view. I'm more than likely, I got to watch Danny Garcia, Adrian Granados as well. And so we'll see how that all works out. And with that, I'm out. Peace.